Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's almost Christmas and I'm notoriously difficult to buy Christmas presents for, so I thought I'd do a video to give people the heads up if they need to buy me a gift. Um, and I think when it comes to beauty, I suppose I'm especially hard to buy for. So I do understand the challenge and why I tend to receive a lot of gift vouchers. Um, but it's quite nice to receive a gift. And I thought I'd just do a rundown of the things that always please me if um, they show up in my stocking. So um, I guess through industry, I get lots of skincare products sent to me, but I don't necessarily get that much in the way of hair care products. So it's always a treat to receive something with the gold lettering from Aurobe. They really are my preferred range of products albeit that they are prohibitively expensive and essentially I think that the dry texturizing spray is probably the most expensive can of air known to man. However, it really is a superlative product when it comes to resuscitating midweek hair. You've maybe gone a day over um, in terms of needing to re-blow dry your hair and it's a quick rescue after work before heading out, especially at this time of year where social life is you know, charging in all cylinders. Um, and then the Aurobe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream I find to be awesome, but I, I frankly would be very delighted to receive any of the products, the shampoos, the conditioners, because I have such faith in them. And they're a suitably luxurious treat, something that probably it's a little easier to accept somebody else spoiling you with than it is to necessarily spoil yourself with. Uh, so yeah, love Aurobe, and I'm delighted to receive this in my stocking. Then fragrance, I think fragrance products, I'm not one for fragrance in skincare as you all know, but I do love beautiful scents and I think Christmas and, and beautiful scents are sort of synonymous really, they kind of go hand in hand. So it's not usual for me to not receive a bottle of Fracas by Robert Piguet, it's a scent I've worn for more than a decade. Again, I think people associate it with me, it's that heavy, warm, tuberized smell that yeah, I just find transportive and uh, I think I'll be wearing it until the day I die, frankly. So I haven't changed my scent for ages. I don't believe in changing it with the season. I like one scent. I like to be um, associated with that smell. For me, that's fragrance. Then, in terms of room scents, I do love Diptyque Fig. I'm addicted to fig and I love the shade of green this candle comes in. And as you can see, <laughs> I need a refill. Um, so yeah, Diptyque candles always please. They're classic, the pots are useful when they're empty. And yeah, again, I think a figgy smell, always inviting in a room. Makeup wise, if you watch the channel, you'll know that I'm a very, very fan. And again, I think it's quite spoiling. I think it's one of the nicest packaging um, forms that's around at the moment. And I've recently been rather dismayed to find that my Bright Glow foundation keeps going into limited supplies. I have to say, I've just bulk bought the uh, Bright Glow foundation in my shade Porcelain. But I think that Fresh Glow, the highlighter, is gorgeous. I think that the seasonal palettes that they do um, are quite beautiful and always spoiling. Um, and any of the new products that come along, I'm, I'm always willing to try out. I find their eyeliner awesome, their lipsticks awesome, I love their contouring powders as well. Um, so yeah, Burberry is a real treat. Then, I guess bath scent, again, I'm, I'm running low on everything, this is almost like an empties video combined with my Christmas wish list. This is Anne Kaufman scent, actually really reminds me of my New Year's getaway last year. Um, we took a little cottage down in Devon and, you know, log fires, long baths, um, red wine of an evening and this smell is just you know cozy oh it's just it's just wonderful um very autumnal winter sort of scent and yeah i think that bath oil is always a nice gift i also love espa um, and aromatherapy, aromatherapy associates as brands just really wonderful fragrances and really indulgent so there you have it, some of my favourite treats to receive. I'm not trying to give you a hint. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know what spoiling treats you're hoping for in the beauty space. Please leave comments down below. Have a wonderful, happy, spoiling Christmas, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.